This is the Civilization 4 NLL. Hello and welcome back to the Civilization 4 Noble Leaders League. Today we are going to play the last two games of the opening round in the third division. And right now we are going to see the first of those games. That is Shaka that is hosting the goal. Shaka ranked at number 50 and the goal is ranked at 38. This means that the goal is ranked second highest in the third division, so he is one of the two favorites for a promotion this season. Let's see if he can get off to a good start against our beloved neighbor and warmonger Shaka that we all love to find close to us when we play Civilization 4. Well, okay, we don't, but at least we know what to expect. We expect him to attack us. Now, let's see what we can do here. Let's take a look at the map. This is the map. It is a typical east and west map with some continents to the west and some to the east. Um, I believe that all of the continents and islands in the eastern part here are reachable before astronomy and then we need astronomy to get over to the west. Okay, let's look at the starting positions then, Shaka. Let's get the resources and remove the interface. He's got ivory, there is fish up here, there is stone and some bananas and that's basically it. A little bit to the south on this continent we find the goal and he is starting off with some wheat, he has marble, he has copper, spices, there is crabs here, there's also iron over here. So yeah, a good start it looks like for the French. We'll just have to wait and see how they develop uh, their empires. So let's remove the resource bubbles and let's get this game started. Shaka versus De Gaulle in the second to last game of the opening round. 40 turns in, one city each, two cities now for the goal, by the way, two cities each, both of them are doing the fishing and the sailing, three cities the goal, we are getting up to turn 80, and three cities versus two, four cities the goal before Shaka has his third, so the goal has developed very well then. And here is a city up there on that continent to, to the north for Shaka. But the goal is expanding fast. 1 AD, I think it was 6 versus 3. So the goal with twice as many in, um, cities as Shaka. I think that Shaka may be in trouble here actually. The goal has expanded really fast. Now it's up to 7 cities and Shaka only has 3. There is the 4th Sulu city. Uh, but the goal, yeah, there is the first war, there's the first war, seven French to four Zulu cities. What's going to happen in the first war? Will we see a city change hands or will there be only units? Seven to five, Shaka has built another city, founded one. Eight to four, the goal has taken a city and the goal is up to ten, Shaka is up to five. They are founding cities as well as uh, losing and gaining through combat, so it's a little bit difficult to see how many they have founded at the moment. The goal is up to 11 cities. This war isn't going to end, is it? Well, maybe it is. It should end, because I don't think he's going to take all of Shaka's cities this early. We are only, we are not even at turn 200, turn 200 there, 1400. The goal is up to 14 cities. Shaka is down to, well, he built another one, so he has five. He had four, but 14 to five. This advantage is decisive. The goal is going to go on to win this, I am convinced, unless he, well, make a mistake and goes for a peace deal and then allows Shaka to grow and become stronger again. He shouldn't do that, but uh, whether he is capable of going up to that continent up north and take out those Shaka cities as well, I don't know. He needs boats for that. The goal, but he is still fighting. There has not been a peace deal and the goal is going for compass. <laughs> yeah, 
Shaka, he is very low on uh, attack rate at the moment. The goal is going for optics and is going astronomy. So this could be the matter of the goal actually just going expansion route towards domination. It may be that it doesn't focus on taking the last five Zulu cities. Even though he is in war, so we should try to focus on it, really. But uh, he's two turns away, one turn away from astronomy. He hasn't taken any one of those cities up north, has he? On the continent up north that Chaka has, 14 to 5. Let's see what he is doing now with astronomy at least. He could uh, build some boats to transport more and more units. Let's see if that is what he is doing, or whether he is expanding instead. The goal, you have a chance to get a very early conquest victory here if you wanted to. It doesn't look like he wants to do that though, but uh, who knows. Shaka has still 0.3 the strength of the goal, so I don't know if the goal is not building that many units anymore. Looks like he is trying to... Uh, well, there is the war going on, so there is that. Um, 15, yeah, I built another city, I guess, 15 to 5 now. I think that the goal is trying to actually win domination by expansion right now. But if he's doing that, he should sign peace instead of staying in the war. There is the first French city in the west. 16 to 5, and is going towards liberalism. And Shaka is still... Well, Shaka is getting engineering in two turns, so there is that. Which means that it could help defend a little bit better, but it's not going to matter. The goal with the Golden Age as well. It's not going to be a very early victory, unfortunately, it seems. We are almost at turn 300. So it's not going to be the earliest victory ever this season, I am convinced about that. Uh, 16, 17 cities now, the goal is expanding out there. Shaka doesn't even have astronomy, I think, so um, he's stuck with his five, city <laughs> five cities. And the goal is expanding and doing whatever he can. Um, there is some room Shaka could settle another city, but it's just going to lose it in the war anyway. It's going to get raised, I think. So turn 303. We have we are soon coming up on turn 320, which would be 1900. 17 French cities to five Zulu cities. And the goal has not focused on taking out Shaka to win that um, early conquest. He has not gone up there with that many units. He has just been staying in war just for the lulz of it or something like that. Shaka is now getting compass by the way, the goal is on uh, chemistry, so Shaka is trying to go for optics. Is Shaka trying to expand into the new world? I mean, if the goal allowed for that, it would be really bad play for the goal if he allowed Shaka to get to astronomy now and escape. He really should have crushed him a long time ago, but he hasn't. Shaka has defended well. So we are at turn 325, we are in the 20th century already. And uh, as early as that war was declared, I am actually disappointed about the goal in this game. He has not finished off Shaka the way he really should have done, but he has expanded, he has focused his efforts on other things. Apart from taking out the Shaka cities, he has not focused on taking them at all. He is going to do it eventually, because his units, due to his technology, will be so much better that he really wouldn't stand a chance not to take them, I believe. But Shaka is trying to go for guilds, which would actually be good defensively. It would uh, help him a little bit. Uh, the goal on Printing Press, though. Going to get that one, turn 350 almost, turn 346 now. 19 cities to 5. It's not really expanding that well either, the goal. We are at turn 350 and there is a lot of open lands in the new world that he has not expanded into. But now he is building a few more cities up to 21. Well, he took one from Shaka there, finally. Shaka is down to 4 cities. So we lost one. Is that... 
now a sign that the goal may be trying to finally finish off Shaka. Yeah, it looks like it because now Shaka is down to three cities. He spent way too long doing this, the goal. We are already in the 1940s almost. Shaka with three cities, the goal with now 22. We are at turn 360 and there is two Zulu cities left on the map. And the goal, one city left, and that's on that island. Let's see when he lands units on that little island. We see it in the middle of the screen. We are at turn 364. When will the units land? Will they land or will they just attack directly from the boat? I don't know. Let's pay attention to that. One Shaka city, turn 366. Can we see the units? I think maybe we are seeing units attacking from the boat, so we no, there they landed, there they landed. Now it's only a matter of a turn, and there it is. Shaka is dead, the goal has won. Turn 371, 1951, and <laughs> wow, um, I am not going to pick at all. Uh, I'm going to pick none. And the goal has a conquest victory. So uh, that's it. I'm going to go through the replay now. And then I'm going to be back with the statistics and stuff after we have seen the replay. <music> So we can congratulate the goal with the conquest victory. There was only one declaration of war in this game though. 800 AD the goal attacked and the war ended in 1951, which means it was over 1000 years of continuous warfare between these two before finally the Zulu civilization was destroyed. Let's go exit and take a look at some numbers. Here we see the graphs. The goals score was higher by a mile. The gross national product. I think we can go fast by this manufacturing goods, the crop yield, the power, the culture and the espionage and all graphs show that this was a game the goal had from almost the beginning to almost the end. The demographics, this is the Shaka numbers. He did end the game with 84,000 soldiers, so it probably has something somewhere. But uh, this is then uh, the goals. He ended with 19 million in population. And yeah, you see the numbers here. The top six cities and all the wonders, uh, the wonders list, we don't even have to scroll down. They are all owned by France at the end of the game, of course, but the Temple of Artemis built by Shaka in 180, no BC wonders. We see the cities. 
Im Gündlöwe uh, Orleans Tours Paris Amiens and Lyon among these uh, the number one city was actually then founded by uh, Chaka and not by Napoleon but of course uh, not by uh, de Gaulle uh, excuse me uh, and let's look at the statistics here we have the statistics for Chaka Eight cities built, two religions founded, no golden ages, no improvements because it doesn't have any. Uh, let's go to the top. What did he build? What, seven granaries, seven ikandas, and all the way down to a temple of Artemis. Not very much. Your current units. You have one settler, actually, somewhere on the map. But that didn't stop you from losing to conquest. What did you build? 56 horse archers, 36 catapults and 29 swordsmen and we see down to you got a great merchant and you built a warrior. You killed in the war 35 trebuchet, thir 35 swordsmen all the way down to a galleon, frigate galley and your losses 56 horse archers, 36 catapults, 29 swordsmen, 23 longbows, 22 chariots, 18 galleys and a settler in the end. Let's go a look at the goal. The goal with 19 cities built, he raised one. Five founded religions, three golden ages, currently 34 towns, 32 windmills, 26 workshops, and you can see it down, you built in your cities. 18 granaries, 17 barracks, all the way down to Parthenon, Angkorat, Hagia Sophia. Let's go page down. Uh, Sister Chapel here, we have Apostolic Palace was built by the goal. Kremlin they managed to get, um, yeah, Notre Dame is here, you got the University of St. Carl, you got the Taj Mahal, Muslim Oman Solos as well, and one Academy, the Oracle, page down. You got both Pyramid, Stonehenge, Great Library, Great Lato, Hanging Gardens and the Colossus, which was important, and currently you have these units, 56 Longbowmen, 47 Grenadiers, 36 Musketeers, and all the way down to, you have a great spy you haven't used for anything, what did you build, 64 workboats and 50 Musketeers, 48 Longbowmen, and we see down to 5 great generals that you got, page down. Uh, five ship, you built five ships of the line, okay. And you built one Jewish missionary. You killed 56 source archers, 36 catapults, 29 swordsmen down to a settler. And your losses were 35 trebuchets, 35 swordsmen, 22 crossbows, all the way down to a frigate. Okay. Can we get back to Shaka? We can. And we go over to Graf and then it's time to go exit and take a look at the cities. Just one more turn. We are currently on Shaka. And let's then confirm that there are no cities for Shaka. So let's go on to the goal. Okay. And here we have the goal. And let's take a look at all the cities. Um, the top city tours uh, 18 pops, U Gungundlovu 15, Chartres 14, Dion 14, and we see down here all the way down to Bordeaux uh, with size 2. So let's go to the bottom. Ah, Bordeaux was actually the last one, okay. That means that we see all the cities on the first page here. Spoiler alert! Results and updated league tables follows after this screen. And the spoilers means all the results and the league table. And here we see that after this game, Shaka lost heavily with a negative 12 score per turn difference. It dropped all the way down to 16th and last place. While the goal then all the way, climbed all the way up to first with a positive 12 score turn difference and two points. So congratulations to De Gaulle, the new leader, and now it's only one game left. So that is going to be Darius the first versus Lincoln, and we are going to see that in a little while. This has been shot like. <laughs> I'm out. Oh, my God.